Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by Paralens. If you fancy winning yourself a Paralens Plus dive camera, all you have to do is follow the link pinned in the comments. Competition closes on March 15, 2019 and is open to UK residents only. Terms and conditions apply. The UK government have announced that electric shock fishing equipment will be banned from the UK waters after Brexit. That's in case, or if it actually happens. Anyway, this controversial fishing method uses electrical signals to drive flatfish, such as sole, from the seabed into nets. This crappy method, as I like to call it, Mark might disagree with me on that, and I'm sure he's going to probably come in at some point and argue with me about this. Anyway, this method of catching fish was actually banned by the EU in 1998, but since 2006, pulse beam trawling has been allowed under EU de degradation, uh, you know, for testing. So when this new law kicks into action, around 80 EU vessels will be affected. These predominantly Dutch vessels hold per uh, permissions to fish using electricity in certain parts of the North Sea, including UK waters outside the 12 mile zone. This move has got a lot of praise from activists that obviously hate pulse fishing and marine biologists who are keen to protect the marine life in our, you know, surrounding the UK waters. The only thing that needs to be looked at is if there are going to be any loopholes within the new law, aka yes, EU fleets can't pulse fish but the UK fleet can. That needs to be just a massive no-no. What's the point in banning it for one thing and then carrying on for something else? Uh, the fact that the EU gave the okay for this practice to be used again is just a little bit of a weird one and has actually stumped a lot of people, unless you're Mark. <laughs> That's right, I'm throwing you under the bus. <laughs> anyway, to be honest, I'm sure that it's something to do with Wonga, a bit of money, and uh, that tends to be the root cause of things like this. Uh, anyway, groups have been working for the past three years to get this ban in the EU. Um, so now, due to Brexit, the ban will, you know, now happen potentially. I'm pretty sure that's probably the first piece of good news I've heard to come out of bre breakfast. Brexit, I'm so sick of saying that. Anyway, what do you guys think about the news? Is it good or is it bad? Or do you think that it will damage actually fishing livelihoods? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Uh, are you gonna say anything, Mark? Or am I just gonna end the video? No? Let's keep it quiet, guys. All right, bye. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.